jumped out here to a quick 14-0 first quarter lead. Forbath to send it away now following the touchdown. This is taken about seven yards deep. The San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. Already down two touchdowns here in the first half. This becomes a pretty important drive, doesn't it? It certainly does, and a lot of the teams script plays. We know that, right? They, they have a script to start the ball game, and typically those scripts go between 12 and 24, 25 plays. Down two touchdowns early, probably not very deep into their script. I think that they'll stay with it. I don't think they'll abandon it just yet and try and generate some offense on this drive. Anything. At least three points get that zero off the board. So now then, the big play has them all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. Switch it, switch it, switch it. Come on, switch it. Whip, 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 whip. Watch the whip. From the gun, it's Garoppolo. Open man is Samuel, complete. And he's going to take it in. Touchdown, San Francisco. Debo Samuel, 29 yards as his guys are on the board here in this first quarter. Gold with the extra point, and that'll make our score 14 to 7. That's fielded in the end zone. And not a particularly good return here as they'll be forced to start at the 12 yard line. The conventional football. Football 101 tells us if you don't get it back to the 20-yard line on a kickoff return, that's a disappointment. But some of these teams, special teams coaches, with approval by the head coach, they give them full authority to go ahead and bring it out and try to be aggressive. Almost what we call the green light, red light theory. Green light means go, red light means stop. Looks like he had green on that play. And he is swallowed up right at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. On second down, Elliott. And he'll get this one up to about his 14. It's a gain of about three, but it's going to leave him with third and still seven yards to go. On third down, it's Prescott. And down he goes. The 49ers get there. Nick Bosa coming in to drop him for a loss of eight. And it also brings up fourth. Out now comes the Cowboys punter. And no room for air here as his first punt comes from deep in his own end zone. On the return, it's James. A big kick there. We'll call it 56 yards on the punt. And the Niners will go on offense first and 10. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you scored points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. That's good for 28 yards. A shotgun snap for Garoppolo. Dancing to his left. He's going to let it go deep for the end zone. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked off by Jeff Heath. And he will take it on out to the 20-yard line. A throw he probably shouldn't have made. Rolling left and then throwing back across the field. And when you do that and you're rolling towards the sideline, you've cut down your field in a big way significantly. And the guys who play in the second and third level, those linebackers and DBs, they know that. And they know they have nearly as much space to cover. And they're hoping you try and throw it back towards the middle. On second and 11 now. Prescott. They don't hit the slant route. That's caught by Cooper. Cooper, an 80-yard touchdown. And the Cowboys are able to show off their quick strike ability. 
Partner, you know the real key is to stopping a good passing attack? You tell me. Being able to tackle as soon as a guy catches a football. Didn't work out there. No, because when you give up the big run after catch, the rack yardage, that puts your defense in a big-time stressful position. A lot of rack yardage and a touchdown there on the big play. Four bath out to kick this one away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he'll be brought down at the 23, make it the 24-yard line. The San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive? Or no, you just throw that out the way. Weaving through traffic, and now he's free. And across the track, into the end zone, it's a 49er touchdown. Kevin Coleman, 76 yards, as his guys are back within a single score. Gold able to tack on the extra point, and they're back within a touchdown at 21-14. That'll be taken in the end zone. And the decision to bring it out is going to cost him about seven yards, all told, as he's taken down back shy of the 20. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And Charles, the way touchdowns have come so fast and furious for both sides in this thing, it's starting to feel a little bit more like maybe a tennis match in a football game. Yeah, I like your description there. Maybe we're sitting in a nice royal box watching this type of a game. But let's face it, right now, the way it's going back and forth, it's going to come down to who can get a stop. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. Throwing on second and eight. Prescott. And that's Elliott, complete. And he'll get this one way up just shy of the 45-yard line. That one covers 24 yards. It's a first down. A first down carry by Elliott. Looking for a seam, but finding none. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. We got three. We got three. We got three. Switch, switch, switch. Check. Check. Looking to throw on second down. Prescott. He finds Randall Cobb on the completion. And this will move the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the 49ers' 29-yard line. So from inside Niner territory now, this is first and 10 as they're down to the 20. And he is into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Two first-half touchdown passes now for Dak Prescott. And the Cowboys, they push out in front further. Forbath, the extra point, and the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. Forbath to send it away now following the touchdown. That's fielded in the end zone. And he'll take it back to about the 19-yard line. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. And coming off a one-play drive that was so deflating for the defense, what, what's their mentality? How do they rally here and stop this offense? Well, hopefully there's some determination that sets in because I, they weren't ready to go on the last one. Give all the credit to the offensive guys for getting it done, but to allow a run of that length, that's just not being prepared. So now, are they determined? Are they ready to read their keys and make the proper plays? And we'll see how determined they are. And that's one of the reasons you like to blitz even on run downs. It confuses the blocking assignments. It doesn't allow those offensive linemen to get up to the second level. Hey, John, John. You didn't want that? Hey, hey, check 24. Watch 24. Cut. Throwing his Garoppolo on third down. Being chased out left. Hit from behind, and he's going to be driven down. The sack by Robert Quinn. So this has been a lot like a tennis match, hasn't it? Back and forth. Both these offenses having their way so far. So maybe the question isn't who's going to score the most points in this game. Maybe it's who's going to get some stops. Yeah, absolutely. And that sack, finally a first step in the right direction for a stop. 
Give him 11 yards that time on the return. And the Cowboys will take over the football with a first and 10. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. They'll start the drive with Elliott. Trying to run inside, but nothing there. Second quarter action with 159 remaining. A reminder coming up here at halftime. We'll ship you off to Orlando. Jonathan Coachman will have first half highlights and analysis from a back and forth first half that we've seen. Going to take a shot for Gallup. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there. Trying to take a shot, but it's third down. They come up to the line now facing a third and ten after the incompletion. From the shotgun, it's Prescott. He's got his target, it's Cobb. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. A game of 27 on the play. First down, Cowboys. Check, check, watch 54, watch 54. Get this world. On first and 10, Prescott. That one complete to Elliott. And he'll work it inside the 30 to the 29-yard line. Call it a gain of five, and it'll bring up a second down. At the 49ers, 29-yard line. Right there, 54 Mike. Yeah, we're going to 52. 23. Draw play, Elliott. And he'll go down here right around the 23-yard line. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. Boy, he does it at a high level, doesn't he? Because when I watch him, I think of his vision. Straight ahead, peripheral. Also has that sense of where holes are going to be before they actually open. I think that helps set him apart from many of the other bats in the league. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. The storm windows get a lot tighter near the end zone, don't they? And here's the thing. You already probably have three points in your hip pocket. You force a throw here and give up an interception, you come away with nothing. Especially tough in the middle third of the field where he threw that one. Hey, alert three, alert three. On second down, Prescott again. And he's going to be taken down back around the 35-yard line. Now the Cowboys going to burn the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 20 seconds to go in the first half. They'll need a big play here. Will Dak and the Cowboys after the sack? It's third and long. Switch, switch, switch. Shit, shit. Shit. Here we go, 46. 46. Prescott from the gun. Oh, the pressure too great, and he goes down once more. The 49ers now going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 13 seconds to play in half number one. Out now comes the Cowboys punter as he'll kick it away for the second time. One yards on the punt there. And there'll be time for maybe one final play before halftime. Here we go, here we go. The San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. Time here for likely one play, then off to the locker room, and they're going to have some adjustments to make. They certainly will, and I think a lot of people are thinking to themselves, all right, take the knee, get out of here, regroup. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked off by the linebacker, Jalen Smith. So two quarters down, two remain. Charles and I return after the break. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. This is taken about seven yards deep, and no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line.
The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. And last time, one play interception. So this offense, they should be fresh. <laughs> That's a good way of putting it. And I can't wait to see what they decide to do with play calling because a one-play drive where you throw an interception, a lot of people think the very next time out, run the football, don't give them a chance. Maybe play action? I think maybe you go play action, show your quarterback, go, get a little confidence in him, and let him fling another one. They'll come up now second and four from the 31. On second down, it's Coleman. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. I'm okay with the call there. In fact, I actually like it. I know they're down a couple of scores, but the running game worked in that situation. I would continue to go in that direction. Here we go. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Let's go. Check that. Check that. Right back to Coleman here on first down. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. They'll get a dozen there, and it's a first down, 49ers. Man, these guys may not win this ball game, but you certainly can't fault the effort of this man here today. He's been a real thorn in their sides all afternoon. And that last carry puts him over the 100-yard mark. Coleman. And that'll hurt the average a bit as this time they're able to get him behind the line. Defensively, it was Leighton Vander Esch up from his linebacker spot. Here we go, here we go. 180! On second down now, it's Coleman. And very little running room there. He did get a couple up to the 49. Watching that play unfold and watching him complete it brought back memories of doing all those pursuit drills to make sure you don't over-pursue and let a guy get a cutback lane on you. He did that very well. Go, you praised him on tape yesterday for the angles that he takes to the ball. Took a great angle right there. From the gun on third, Garoppolo. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. Picked up by Leighton Van Der Esch. And his guys will take over at their own 44-yard line. Well, partner, let's put a bow on the Super Bowl for Kansas City. What a comeback win. Yet another come-from-behind victory for Patrick Mahomes and company. An absolute heartbreak for San Francisco. Didn't Madden predict Kansas City would win the game? Yes, 35-31, I believe they predicted. I think like most of the predictions I saw had the game in the 30s. So look at a double coverage and it's intercepted. Picked off by the safety, Jack Whiskey Tart. Oh, and I saw the pressure coming at him. That just looked problematic. Hit him as he threw it, and the interception ensued. Let me pay homage to the man who stood in this spot before. He always talked about how much pressure is in the face of a guy, and can he step into a throw. And when you can't do that, oftentimes interceptions result. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. Oh, did he hang on to it? He did on the dive. Nice grab. A good pick up there, 26 yards. There's simply no sense in wasting a great catch like that on a short game. Get downfield like you just did there and use it up that way. No dink and dunk. Now here's a pass on first down that's knocked away and incomplete. Chidabe Awuzie there to make the play in coverage. Second and 10 from the 33-yard line. Ricky, Ricky, He's coming, he's coming, he's coming. We've got that hunt. Looking to throw, Garoppolo, buying time to his left. And he will be hit from behind and run over. Wow. Robert Quinn able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. And that's his second sack of the game, but this player, disruptive in all phases, whether he's going upfield, coming underneath, you name it. He's a big-time guy you have to block. Well, that last sack, it puts Garoppolo and the 49ers in a tough spot. They face a third and long. 21, 21. On third and long, it's Garoppolo. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked off by the linebacker, Jalen Smith. And he's able to bring it up five yards shy of midfield to the 45-yard line. 
With that incompletion, a chance to mention the awards. Now with the season over, Lamar Jackson, as we speculated, he's the MVP, coach of the year, John Harbaugh, Lamar's coach. Michael Thomas, Stephon Gilmore, offensive and defensive players of the Ezekiel Elliott gonna take it the distance. Touchdown, Cowboys! Ezekiel Elliott, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Cowboys, they push out in front further. Always important to get the first score of the second half. Now you start to pull away a little bit and get some breathing room going. And now we find out about the fortitude of the group that's behind because they were counting on getting into the game a little bit more, right? Maybe they get the first score. That doesn't happen. It looks almost insurmountable, but it's not. Let's see how hard they play the rest of the game. Forbath able to convert the extra point, and the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. Forbath to send it away now following the touchdown. This is taken about seven yards deep. And no thought to bring this one out. He'll just go down to a knee, and they'll take over at the 25. The San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. They trail here by 24 points. Got to get going soon, you'd have to think, as they come up first and 10. Looking for Sanders here on the deep ball. And now here is another interception. Picked off Byron Jones. And he'll take it across midfield and down to the 48-yard line. The interception woes, they just continue to mount. He's thrown five picks. At this point, you got to be thinking, is it something between the ears? I think a confidence hit does occur once you start getting those numbers up there a little bit. But as you and I both know, it's not always just one guy's fault. Maybe somebody ran the wrong pattern. Maybe some balls were tipped. It could be so many different things. Bottom line, though, it comes back to the guy throwing them. Call that a loss of five yards on the play. And it'll be a second and long. Much 56. Watch the pass. Kill, kill, kill. Turn up. Kill, kill, kill. Turn up. He's crashing. He's checking crap. 56. <laughs> Out of the gun, here's Prescott. Letting one fly deep for Cooper. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. Amari Cooper, his intended receiver, and that takes us from second to third down. I like the boldness, and I like that they took a shot downfield, but it was well covered, and he was able to get a hand in and knock it away. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Here's Prescott. And the throw there going to be incomplete. You hear the calls for a penalty, but I just don't think so. I think in this situation, the defender was making sure his guy couldn't hold on to the football. So I don't see anything that warranted a flag. No, I'm with you. There was contact, but I'm happy they kept that flag in the back pocket. Out now comes the Cowboys punter. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. James now to return. Good blocking there. Nearly sprung him as it is. It'll go as a 19-yard return. And that will come the offense as they take over.
Play clock down to zero. And this is not the way to start a drive. And that'll set him back five. It's magic With the gang We ball out It can get tragic All we got We gon' let you Let you have it Stuck in my ways Think I need to Change my habits What would you do If you were me And didn't have it? Look in the mirror Now I'm feeling Like a savage Tell my son I love him For him I'ma make it happen Now my dream's reality Not going back to back to back You say that you proud of me I turn my back You laughing Now I hit the scene They like lights Camera action Living in a dream Now my music They be blasting Step out I'm a star Always in the latest fashion Had to set the bar bar, Try to catch me lacking Bank account for my son He won't have to struggle You can see it in my eyes All I do is hustle They try to knock me off my feet I'm ready to rumble Felt like I ain't eight in weeks Working off the muscle Oh yeah Oh my We ride For my brothers No lie All you All you can die Never wrong They right I ain't changing my side Yeah we in it for life And I've been up It's magic With the gang We ball out It can't get tragic All we got We gon' let you Let you have it Stuck in my ways Think I need to change my habits What would you do If you were me And didn't have it? Look in the mirror Now I'm feeling like a savage Tell my son I love him For him I'ma make it happen Now my dreams reality Not going back to back to you say that you proud of me, I turn my back, you laugh. Hey, how could you 
keep hot in my face. People claim that they be loyal, they be taking up space. See my Roski lose his heart when he was fighting that case. Took so many yells, I'm not going back to those days. I'ma treat you how you treat me. Do you like how it tastes? Shawty use a use a can't treat you like my ace. I got way too many problems to be worried. I'm straight. Me and Craig, Craig. Had to watch for the Jakes on the road. This road crazy. I get 80 a show. Say my money, stack it up. It look like I'm like I'm like foreign cars driving fast. I never done this before. Get get on out my problems. Let me let me. When I been up is magic. With the gang, we ball out. It can get tragic. All we got, we gon' let you let you have it. Stuck in my ways, think I need to change my habits. What would you do if you were me and didn't have? Look in the mirror now. Tell my son I love him for him, I'ma make it happen.